Previously, we learned how to work with headers in route handlers. Now, let's dive into handling cookies in route handlers. Cookies are small pieces of data that a server sends to a user's web browser. The browser can store the cookies and send them back to the same server with future requests. Cookies serve three main purposes. Managing sessions like user logins and shopping carts, handling personalization such as user preferences and themes, and tracking like recording and analyzing user behavior. If you would like to dive deeper into cookies, you can check out the detailed documentation on MDN. But for now, let's head back to VS Code and see how we can work with cookies in the Next.js route handler. Similar to what we saw with headers, we will primarily look at how to set and get cookies inside a route handler. There are two ways to accomplish this. The first approach is to set a cookie by returning a new response with the set cookie header. So after content type text slash HTML, specify set cookie, theme is equal to dark. If we check Thunder Client and look at the cookies tab in the response section, we have no cookies available. It starts empty. With our set cookie logic in place, if we make a new request, we will see our theme cookie appear, name theme value dark. Now to read this cookie in our route handler, we can use the request parameter. So const theme is equal to request dot cookies dot get, and we specify the name of the cookie theme. Let's log it to the console. Back in Thunder client, if we send the request and open the terminal, we will see the cookie name value pair being logged, name theme value dark. So this covers our first approach, using the set cookie header to set a cookie and the request object to read it. For the second approach, Next.js provides a built-in cookies function. Let's import it at the top. Import headers, comma, cookies from next slash headers. Cookies is an async function, so we will need to await it. Within the handler function, const cookie store is equal to await cookies. Now to set a cookie using this method, we can call cookie store dot set. We specify the name results per page, for example, and the value is 20. After sending a new request, a cookie results per page now appears with a value of 20. Reading this cookie is just as straightforward with cookie store dot get. So console.log cookie store dot get results per page. Send the request again. And in the terminal, you will see name results per page value 20. Apart from set and get, the cookies function supports additional methods like has and delete. Please refer to the docs for more information. All right, that wraps up working with cookies in route handlers. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.